Hi, I'm Nikki Tyndall, and today we're covering the week four um, reflection. Um, you asked us to cover the first, um, the couple of different websites that you showed us, uh, the Scholastic 25. A couple of the things, oh, I have a really bad glare. Um, a couple of the things that I really liked about it were the Scholastic, uh, the Scholastic.com where, um, people were free to, or kids were free to look at, um, books that they might be interested in, in categories, and I thought that would be really helpful for young readers. Um, I know when I was growing up, books were, like, large in my life, so it's nice to know that with technology the way it is these days, that books are at people's fingertips, um, and they'll maybe realize what they should be reading by what they, by the subcategories and choices that they like. Um, also, the teacher tube was pretty interesting to me. Um, I know that teachers already use YouTube for teaching, but a teacher tube where you can be guaranteed that the videos have um, proper uh, content without having to worry about what is in the video, possibly that might not be proper for your child um, or your children in school, is really, really helpful. Uh, the four teachers.org. I really like the quizzes that you could do online um, and the support and the info for teachers um, about special needs was really pretty amazing. The autism and Asperger's links um, also very helpful uh, for teachers. Um, Kathy Schrock, uh, she had a lot of helpful tips and info about using iPads in the classroom. And I know from past experiences as a para that iPads in the classroom are a, a big, um, a new thing that's just like coming out and more and more classrooms all have iPads. Um, I, I assume within a couple of years that every classroom will have iPads and be using an iPad in some form throughout the whole day. And then she also had a really neat um, feature for ideas for bulletin boards and I really liked the idea of um, going onto her site and looking for bu bulletin board ideas. Um, the thing that I did not like about the Kathy Schrock website was that it was overwhelming. Um, there's just like, you just don't actually at times know which way to turn. There's just so many things on her website, like it's just broken into so many subcategories and you just, it's just so overwhelming. So, um, the sites that were provided were overall very helpful. And I think that mostly, um, I, I think that the four teachers.org, uh, quizzes online is something that I would definitely use in my classroom as well as, um, re referring to the information on the special ed, uh, links as well. So thank you.